What's up, everybody, and welcome to BioS3 freaking camera angles. Fucking thing. BioS3 Raw TV. <laughs> this is a response video to Jason Blaha, Ice Cream Fitness's um, video that he's talking about on Eric Helms and Alberto Nunez. I figured I want to throw my two cents in this since he mentioned my name and Mark Loblander's name. I agree with Jason that the super draw that was used by Eric Helms, it does increase water, and it's a very powerful steroid. Hands down, it's a steroid. It is not a supplement. So for this guy or um, Alberto Nunez to, to claim lifetime drug-free, if that's what they're doing, that's bullshit. They've taken a drug. Whether they have lasting effects or not, they have taken a drug and should not call themselves lifetime drug-free. They should call themselves drug-free now. They should flat out say, I did steroids in the past. I did one cycle. Because let's face facts, Superdrol is 10 times more potent than Anadrol 50. And that's one of the kings of all anabolic steroids. And I've used the Superdrol knockoff, Mdrol, and I gained like 20 pounds on it. So the stuff is no joke. And as far as uh, Alberto using Primobon, yeah, absolutely. He's not going to keep the gains from the Primobon. But, okay, and this is but. Jason touched on something very interesting. And I want to throw this out there because I'm not going to say that Alberto is doing this or Eric is doing this, but I know that some quote-unquote now natural bodybuilders, or natural bodybuilders, they're calling themselves natural, whatever, they still use certain supplements that are considered legal, okay? Like there's some things out there that technically are not on the ban list, won't show up on a drug test. They're essentially designer steroids that are out there. And this has been happening since I couldn't even remember when Dan Duchesne used to talk about it, how people in the Olympics were beating tests, and it turned out to be the THG, which was from Valco. So, I mean, the shit is out there, and most of these things that are on the market being sold as supplements are not tested for. So, technically, they can be used. Whether they're using them or not, I don't know. But the diuretic thing, oh, yeah. Some of these guys with the great conditioning, I'm going to tell you right now how a quote-unquote wannabe natural is going to step on stage, dry as shit, and lean as fuck without testing positive for anything. And it's done all with oral administration, okay? First thing that you do is, let's say, eight weeks out from your show, because you're not concerned really with muscle mass. So IGF, you're not really concerned with. And plus, your natural levels, doesn't really friggin' matter anyways. So they'll start out with like 20 milligrams of tamoxifen or Novadex. We'll start out with that per day. Now, they can run that until two days before the show and stop taking it, and it won't show up on a drug test. The next thing they do is... They run clenbuterol. And as much as people don't want to say, Clen doesn't do this, Clen does that, it doesn't do this, it's great, it's not great. Bottom line is, these guys are still working really hard. Okay, so the, the drugs themselves are not doing the work, but they're allowing them to get down to those super crazy levels of body fat that you only see, and it is that Photoshop look. It's not three-dimensional because they're not on steroids, but they're so hard and dry, it's not normal. So then they'll start the clenbuterol about, Eight weeks out, okay, so the whole clenbuterol wears off over time or wax your receptors. Bullshit. And there actually is an anabolic effect from clenbuterol. I think 80 micrograms is what the anabolic effect happens. That is what seems to stop working. However, the fat burning never stops, okay? Now they use the clenbuterol straight through to the show, maybe two days before, and they stop taking it. That won't show up on a drug test. Last thing that they'll use, aldactone or Lasix. Okay, Lasix is a loop diuretic. It works for a couple of days, not just 24 hours. So they can use that and stop using it roughly a few days before the contest, and they still will have 24 hours before their body rebounds, especially if they're restricting water and sodium like they like to do. They're not going to show up on a test either. So now you get Lasix, which Dan Duchesne flat out said is the most dangerous drug in bodybuilding, which is a loop diuretic, which continues to work. It's very powerful. Clenbuterol which is obviously a fat burner and is famous for its fat burning effects, especially if your diet is in check and you're training hard. Your tamoxifen, which is um, your Novadex, okay, which that is obviously an estrogen blocker. The lower your estrogen is, the higher your natural testosterone will go. And if you're natural, it may not make you bigger, but it's going to make you harder and drier. Now, let's just say they needed to get that last little bit off and they're willing to sacrifice, like Jason said he had, the leanness, dryness, and... Um, the fullness. They're really okay with sacrificing the fullness because they're like, if I'm not full, 
that I look sacrificed and <laughs> I look like I have sacrificed, not I am sacrificed, and I'll still come in super dry, they can take small amounts of T3, Cytomel, which will enhance the clenbuterol. So you now have a stack of four substances and get this, this is the kicker. All of these, well actually Lasix, no, that's not one of them. But those three, Tamoxifen, Clenbuterol, and um, Cytomel, T3, all are sold legally in America as research chemicals. Okay, So now, if you're taking a polygraph test, and they say, have you taken any steroids or growth hormones for this competition? No, because you didn't. When they ask you, did you take any illegal substances for this competition? No, because you didn't. You bought them from a research chem site. Although they're not for human consumption when you're bought there, let's face facts, people buy them and use them. So you now have a way that's legally available to use that no one really knows about because they think natural means that you're not messing with this stuff and they believe you for some reason. And then you have people like Jason who will tell you that they're sacrificing one of those things, which is what's happening. But those other two things... There's a reason why you don't see a lot of people like that. And it's not because someone has a PhD. And it's not because someone knows how to diet hard or anything like that. I guarantee you, no matter how hard Alberto, Alberto or whoever is training, there's someone out there training harder and smarter than him. Absolutely. All the time. That's the way it is. There's always somebody better, always somebody bigger, always somebody smarter than you. And you got to do just the best that you can do. Then you see these guys in the offseason. Now, if you were able to get that dry and that hard, part of your genetics would be super lean year round. I mean, when you see Ronnie Coleman and you see Jay Cutler, those guys in the offseason are like 8% body fat. You see these other guys, these so-called naturals, and they're either fat and bloated, or they don't have a line on their body and they're smooth and not any bigger. Which means that their genetics are not to be super lean like that to get shredded. They have forced their body to get down there. And I can guarantee you it's not that they forced it naturally. They used that little trick and they scammed everybody, and that's how it works. So... This is just my opinion. Take it for what it's worth. But the bottom line is, anybody that can stop and think about this for two seconds knows the reality about what I just said. Biosutraining at gmail.com. Leave comments down below. www.biosutraining.com is the blog and we're out.